Hey guys, this is Idlewild here, live on our Day Horizons Daybreaker server. Yes, this is on a server. And this is a duplication glitch using the Magical Inventory Manager screen module from Essential Craft 3. Uh, along with the uh, Router Reborn Tier 3 storage. Now, the way that this glitch works is... I'm doing this a little bit in reverse, because I just did it a moment ago, but I forgot to have my microphone actually turned on, so I failed right there. <laughs> but you can see we have 44 stacks of diamond blocks inside of here, okay? And you see Oreo Horde on my map right there, but he's not going to come down below. He's going to stay over there doing his doohiggy, whatever he's doing over there with mechanism. And I'm going to show you how this glitch actually works. So what I'm going to do is, because I used diamond blocks in the last one three to do the glitch, I'm going to use coal to turn it back to what it was originally. So I'm going to grab a single piece of coal. And we can see when we go inside of here, we can see all those items. We can see the diamond blocks that are here. Now, using Essential Crafts 3 and Router Reborn, if you shift-click the coal, it'll go up in here into the first slot right here and it gets shot into the inventory. It will replace the first item in this inventory. So it's going to replace these blocks of diamonds. We'll do that right now. Boom. We have blocks of diamonds or coal there now. We have coal. Just regular coal. 128 of them, actually. And that's because we had a stack in here already, and we just threw another stack in showing 128. I don't know why. But anyways, now, the big thing is nobody's been down there. Nobody's been down below at all. Nobody can change anything out down there. If we go down below, we now see that that's been replaced with coal. Yes, coal. Now, I'm going to go ahead and jump into game mode zero and show you that I can grab some of it out. Look at that. It's in my inventory. Okay, now what I'll do is, is we'll put this back in here. All right, we got 44 stacks of coal. I'm going to go back up top, and I'm going to change it back to diamond again, just so you can see it working once again in action. We'll grab a diamond block here, and we will shift-click it in. Coal got replaced. Shot a single stack over here. Here's your diamond blocks. We go down below, we will see that that is now diamond blocks. So I'm going to take some of those out. You can see I can take them out as if they were real, break them up. They are real. Let's grab a pickaxe. We'll chop them and show you that they actually give you diamond. Because who doesn't like diamond? Well, it gives you the diamond block, but anyways. Uh, we grab a crafting table. We can see that we can craft them into regular diamonds. So let's grab a crafting table, and we'll jot one down right there. And we get a bunch of diamonds. So this is a legitimate very legitimate duplication glitch where you could take and put a extremely low value item in there and then take a uh, just a whole stack of them however many you can fit in there you put in there and then you take your high value high value items such as a diamond block or whatever else you want to duplicate it can be anything and you throw it into this and that's what happens that's what you get you get a whole mess of diamonds which we don't really want we don't want this to be happening, right? So this video is primarily for the mod author. Let me change that back to cool to how it was. This video is primarily for the mod author, so you can see exactly uh, how the glitch works and what's going on. It is using the, the Magical Inventory Manager screen module from Essential Craft 3. We have it connected to the Magical Inventory Manager core. We got some inventory storage modules here. I don't exactly how know how all that works. This is not my specialty. And then way down below is where the actual storage units are. Now it only appears to work on the first connected inventory of the of it, uh, according to how or the the person who set this up, Oreo Horde over there, to how he uh, advised me when he set this up. That's exactly whoa. That's exactly how it's working. Those things are crazy. Them boosters. So. Uh, that's how that is. Now, we are using, currently, we are on the Essential Craft version 4.6.170, rather, 0.35. That's 4.6.1710.35. That's the version of Essential Craft we're using. We'll give the mod author a look at our plugins, um, so you can see what plugins we're using. Just, you know, the basics. Uh, so I don't know if that has anything to do with the effect of this. Also, we are using uh, K-Cauldron, a version of Cauldron to uh, facilitate our use of Bucket on the server. 
Um, we have My Town. I don't know if you've seen in there. We do use My Town Two for uh, for protections. Uh, I, again, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I'm just trying to give you all as much pertinent information as I can, Mr. Mod Author. Uh, so hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't break your servers by using this, and uh, happy Minecrafting. Bye.